So we're back with another Minecraft video. Uh, this is Minecraft 1.14. Uh, between the last one, the world tour, and this one, I uh, spent a bit of time uh, trying to do some uh, hardcore, which I'm not really good at. Basically, I managed it one time into the anvil and was immediately killed by the dragon. And I started this world, and as you can see, I have... Uh, done some work here already so uh, basically uh, spawn is over there and uh, this is basically uh, my uh, startup uh, village with the uh, hidey hole uh, over here in uh, in this hill wheat farm at the lake to breed up the cows to get all the books in here we have a chicken cooker that produces more feathers than cooked chicken, but what do you do about it? Down here is the first mine, and then I uh, went ahead and uh, uh, found a really good use for uh, bamboo and uh, scaffolding in here to cover up the entrance to the mine with a, with a vertical uh, scaffolding that goes all the way down to bedrock where we can find diamonds and we did find diamonds uh, there are two levels of uh, mining and we are all geared up yeah. I lost my skin but uh, I think that's uh, an effect of uh, updating uh, the launcher need to look into that um, then basically when you start a game in single player or multiplayer survival mainly. Uh, there are various things uh, to get uh, started. Uh, once one is finding diamonds so you can uh, get some uh, decent gear and then get some XP levels um, for you to uh, do some uh, enchanting and for enchanting you need a lot of books that's why there are a lot of cows in here and with regards to the uh, XP level uh, I decided to uh, be a bit technical about this we have here three zero tick farms uh, one is for uh, sugarcane, obviously for for paper, so we can trade with uh, with uh, librarians. And then we have here another two: a cactus farm and a bamboo farm. And down here we have a smelter that's uh, fed by the bamboo and the cactus. And in here a uh, green dye cooked up cactus. And uh, if I take out the last one I get some, uh, some XP and it looks like the, the unloading for the Cactus was broken, S happens sometime and sun goes down. So let's quickly have a nap as I don't want to brave the mobs uh, in this video. So come on. Um, 
you can see uh, I quite have some diamonds on the side. Also found the heart of sea while went out uh, exploring. Uh, had also to expand the uh, storage a bit and I think this is the chest collecting uh, stuff for the uh, android a good swir sword uh, diamond pickaxe ender chest ender eyes totem of undying uh, regen potion and strength potion what's missing here is uh, healing potion and for that I need glistening melons and you can get that by uh, trading with uh, villages but at the moment I don't have any any farmers around but I do have librarians so I quite I have quite a few enchanted books uh, either enchanted uh, through the enchanting table or uh, got them from uh, these dudes um, I think this one has uh, an enchantment for mending then I have one for protection and basically the others are for trading uh, with uh, with paper to get uh, emeralds. So next step here I have this cell set up to get a, a villager in there uh, to become a farmer and as the next village is quite far off in that direction um, I decided to cure zombie villages. I also had to do this uh, contra contraption with uh, the trapdoors on the portal because uh, when it spawned in here we are right at uh, lava sea level and um, to be safe I created this uh, this hut here um, but as I do mob hunting on the other side a lot of mobs uh, went through the portal crammed in here and the creeper blew this room and the portal up twice so no more mobs from the overworld to here and thanks to this door uh, that should be true for the uh, other way around uh, in here it's pretty desolate uh, no nether fortress around in any direction for quite a far uh, out way uh, went looking wide and low but could not find one so that's why I uh, went and uh, had a look at uh, at the map with the tool to figure out uh, where the nearest one would be and also if uh, there are any deserts nearby and uh, jungles because jungle would also be a source for uh, for the uh, melons and I think this the first cacti I got from uh, wandering trader so that's one of the few uses so far I've uh, I've seen in them other than uh, providing leads if they uh, lose their uh, llamas. So uh, next up is uh, basically getting geared up for the uh, the uh, end dimension and to finish this video I will uh, uh, show you the uh, overview map see you over there so this is the tool here you can see spawn is over here that's the current location we are in a tiger biome um, over here I think that's uh, a nearby swamp which uh, was quite handy to get my hands on some slime balls for some sticky pistons but if we zoom out a bit we can see the nearest village is over here which is about 800 blocks away 
we have a uh, uh, ocean monument over here. I I disabled the uh, the uh, 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 mine shafts. So nearest stronghold is over here, but still no uh, still no fortresses shown. We see some more villages. And then we have the fortress over here. Uh, that's the one I uh, went to and that's uh, about 2000 blocks away. Um, so bit of plans uh, for the for the future. Uh, I think to uh, set up base somewhere in uh, in this area here maybe a, a nice bay area uh, because I want to have sea access. Um, there is also an ocean monument nearby. Uh, the uh, stronghold is right there and uh, over here we also should have another uh, uh, fortress. Um, then down here we have uh, Mushroom Island. Um, down here that's a uh, Mesa Biome. And somewhere really far away is a jungle as I have seen. But it's really far away so i uh, not going to walk all that way but enlisting the help of uh, villagers to get my melons. So I tried to do a recording of uh, the uh, end fight and uh, we will see how that goes. Until then, bye bye.